what's going on guys switch through here and we're finally back with a, another tutorial on how to install android on your nintendo switch console so first of all this will work across all consoles unpatched and patched consoles also obviously the patch consoles such as the switch Lite, the patch v2 console and the nintendo switch oled consoles so before we start doing anything the first thing you want to do is on your nintendo switch you will need to boot into stock firmware and you will need to ensure that your Joy-Con controllers are paired to the console before we do anything. Once your controllers are paired to the console, that is great. The reason we're pairing the Joy-Cons to the following console in stock is because you will need to dump the Joy-Con Bluetooth settings and basically you have to ensure that the um, joy cons are connected to the nintendo switch console so once you've done that what we're going to do now is we're going to jump over onto the computer and i'm going to explain a few other things before we get started on the actual tutorial so i'll see you over on the computer in two seconds so guys as you can see we're now back on the computer and what i'm going to quickly talk about is basically compatibility so if you've got a v1 unpatched switch console i it can be soft modded you are fine to continue with the video however if you've got a v2 console or a switch Lite or an oled which are classed as patch consoles or mariko systems um basically you're going to want to look at something first so First thing you want to do is remove the SD card completely from your Nintendo Switch console. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and click the power button and you will get a screen which says no SD. Now, if you have got the following no SD screen, which I'm going to show you now. So I'm going to go into the Android 11 tutorial folder and compatibility. If you see this following screen, no SD and a little spaceship, which is classed as Spacecraft NX. Now I've tried this on two consoles and unfortunately I haven't been able to install Android successfully. So if you have got this, hopefully you guys may have a programmable chip what's in your console and you may be be able to update it but if you see this and you can't update it then you won't be able to install android if i go back now and you see this screen when you've powered it on with no sd card in you're good to go if you see this screen with no sd card in you're good to go and if you see this screen with no sd card in again you are good to go so what you want to do now guys is basically Plug your SD card into your computer and you will need to back up everything off your SD card onto your PC as when you go to install Android, it's going to partition the SD card and it's also going to remove everything off it. So if you haven't got anything backed up and you install Android, you're going to pretty much lose everything that you had on your console. So once you've backed everything up, what we're going to do then is we're going to start preparing the micro sd card so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to pause the video plug the sd card in and we're going to get started so guys as you can see we're now back on the computer and i have got the sd card plugged in so if i go to file explorer and scroll down as you can see the micro sd card is here i've named it android tut for the purposes of this video and if i go ahead and go to properties you can see that it's formatted to that for uh, fat 32 sorry and it is 32 gigabytes now the reason i'm using is a separate sd card is because i've already got it set up on my 256 gigabyte sd card and i didn't want to have to delete everything to then put everything back on so i'm using a separate sd card for this tutorial so before we do anything um if you have made a backup of your nintendo switch sd card which you should have done you will need the bootloader folder from the sd card and you will also need the payload.bin or the hecate.bin to inject if you've got a switch v1 so um what i'm going to do is if i go into the android 11 folder you can see here i've got a folder called hecate from backup and this is basically just the bootloader folder from my backup and the payload.bin or the hecate.bin which you can inject via um, tegra rcm if you're using a v1 console 
and basically like i said i've got this from my um switch backup that i made so if i go to um storage on my computer i go to games console files nintendo and go to switch nam backups if i go into switch brew oled TOTK as you can see this is the full backup of my SD card and basically what I did is just grab the bootloader and the payload.bin from here this is just so you can boot into Hecate to flash Android when it comes to doing this so what we're going to do now is go ahead and start loading the micro SD card so guys to start off with when loading the SD card all you'll want to do is go into I'm going to go into my Hecate backup, sorry, and I'm going to place the bootloader folder onto my SD card and the payload.bin. If you've got a Switch V1 console, all you would want to do is place the bootloader folder into your SD card and then with the payload.bin or if it's called Hecate.bin for you guys, which it normally is, is you want to browse for it in Tegra RCM and inject it so you can get into Hecate on your Nintendo Switch console. So once you've done that guys, what you want to do is go ahead and inject your SD card, plug it into your Nintendo Switch and boot into Hecate. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now and I'll switch over to my phone camera to show you guys what to do from there. So as you can see, I've now booted the Switch up and we are in Hecate. So the first thing we'll want to do is we will want to dump the Joy-Con Bluetooth settings as specified earlier. So if you head over to NYX settings, and go ahead and click dump joycon bt what it's going to say is dumping to sd card finish save to blah 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 and that's dumped your joycons bluetooth settings so the next thing you want to do is go ahead and click ok press the close button in the top right hand corner and you'll then want to go ahead and go to tools once in tools what you want to do is go ahead and click the partition sd card button and you will get this following screen you will then want to go ahead and click OK. Once you've pressed OK, as you can see at the bottom here, we've got Android. So the minimum that you want to give this is 16 gig. However, I give it around about 30 gigabytes depending on the SD card size. Like I say, my previous SD card is a 256 gigabyte. So I give it 30 gigs. So what I'm going to do is we're going to drag this slider across. I'm going to drag it across to 30 gigabyte. bear with me guys it's a bit hard doing this one hand so and obviously because the memory card is not big enough which is my bad it's only 32 gig so the maximum on this memory card i can give it is 23 gigabytes so i'm just going to give it the full 23 gigabyte so once you've dragged that across to your desired um amount of memory that you want to give it you can then go ahead and click the next step button and then go ahead and press start and what this is going to do is partition the SD card. So it's going to give you a safety warning. It's going to say, if you want to continue, go ahead and press the power button. So I'm going to click the power button. And what that's going to do now is it's going to um, basically partition the SD card for Android. So the next thing you'll want to do is because we haven't actually got the Android files on there yet, is you want to go ahead and click the SD UMS button. And basically what this is going to do is ask for a USB cable. So you will need to plug a USB cable into the bottom of your Nintendo Switch console and plug it into the computer. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is plug that in and go ahead and switch over onto the PC again. So, guys, as you can see, we're now back on the computer with the USB cable plugged into the Nintendo Switch console and we are in USB mass storage mode. So now what we're going to be doing is copying across the Android file. So if I open the Android 11 tutorial folder, go into files for Android. As you can see, we've got the Android TV version and the Android tablet version. Now, if you're wanting to set this up just to watch like Android TV and stuff, you're best off using the TV version. However, if you want in the full tablet mode, you want to install the tab version. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and open this file. What that's going to do is open with WinRAR or any zip software that you've got on your computer, as you can see here. And what I'm just going to do is copy these three folders across to the root of the micro SD card. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is pause the video while this is copying and I'll come back to you once it's done. So, guys, as you can see, these files have now copied across to the micro SD card. So the next thing you'll need to do is go ahead and eject the USB from the Nintendo Switch 
but first you want to safely remove it so you can press this here and click eject UMS and that's going to disappear what you want to do now is we're going to go over onto the Nintendo Switch console and I'm going to show you how to actually flash Android so I'll see you on the Nintendo Switch guys so guys as you can see we're now back on the Nintendo Switch console and we're now ready to flash Android so basically what you want to do is take out USB cable um, you'll a message will come up and if you press close you'll get these three options you just want to go ahead and click flash Android once you've done that you want to go ahead and click continue it's then going to flash the image and stuff like that and it says do you want to move it to recovery just click continue again and you will get this screen here with the loading bar at the bottom once that's loaded for a bit it might take about 30 seconds or so you should boot into recovery mode so just bear with me guys and you should get into recovery and as you can see there guys we've got recovery so now what you want to do is go ahead and go to uh, advanced sorry it's not advanced just let me go back go back go to factory reset you then want to do the top one just want to go ahead and click format data and you'll see this here and you just want to wait once it's done it might say failed at the bottom don't worry about that that's fine and then you want to go ahead and click format system partition click yes and that's going to do that and once you've done that what you want to want then want to do sorry is go back you want to click apply update then want to click choose from switch sd and you want to choose lineage 18.1 what's that so then going to do is it's going to start installing um the android so what i'm going to do is pause the video and come back once it's finished so guys just a quick one before um the android will actually install it may come up with a signature verification error it's fine just go ahead and click the yes button and basically what this will do now is it will start unpacking and installing android so what i'm going to do finally now is again i'm going to pause the video this is going to install android once it's done i'll set my video back up again and you can see that it is fully working so guys once the um, android has been installed you should see a message it should come back up like this and say script succeeded and basically that's android installed so what you want to do now is go ahead and go back if it'll let me go back and yes it will now we're back at the main screen of the recovery you want to go ahead and click reboot system now if you're on a v1 you may have to um re-inject the Hecate payload to get back into Hecate or it may just reboot straight back into it but as you can see we're now back in Hecate so if I go to more configs now as you can see we've now got lineage OS 18.1 so if I go ahead and click on this what will happen is it will start loading at the bottom and basically we are going to now boot into the Android system so bear with me while it loads it's the first boot of android on this sd card so it may take a while so just bear with once we get to the actual main setup i'm not going to bother setting this up as i've like i said i've already got it installed on another sd card but basically as you can see we're loading into android right now there we go as you can see android has now been installed on the nintendo switch console obviously you have to go through the setup and set this up to get to the actual main dashboard of android but yeah guys that's how to install android 11 on your nintendo switch console just a quick one for you guys as you can probably see in this video i have now got a new nintendo switch oled which is the totk model um, i'm going to be basically um, putting a video up um, very soon explaining what's happened and why I haven't been uploading and why I've got a new Nintendo Switch for, exa um, for example but yeah guys I'd like to thank you for watching the video I hope this helps if you have any problems you can leave a YouTube 
comment or you can add me on discord and i'll try and help you the best i can i'm going to be going back to uploading videos now at least twice a week so yeah guys thanks for watching the video i'll see you in the next one peace